Right then, you creepy lot. I thought it'd be worth just showing, you know, showing you lot how to basically look after a computer. Because I get all the time, you know, people. I often buy laptops and fix them up and sell them. Um, I also get a lot of people um, give me their laptops and um, because it's running slow and they want me to fix them up get them back running up again. This is actually quite a nice little uh, Samsung N150. It's actually a really nice little thing. Um, I never really looked into him. He's still got the thing on the top there which is all dirty but um, this has never really been used. Um, but it was running really slow and I can't get it open. It was running really really slow. Um, it's from 2009. Um, the last time it was turned on was 2013. But basically, what, what it was, was there was three antiviruses on there. There was Norton, um, McAfee and AVG. Now what happens is, when you get three antiviruses, or well, any more than one if you get two, they work against each other and they conflict and they really like, they like fight against each other sort of thing. So you've got three of them fighting against each other. And... It just makes the system sort of like just clam up and slow right down. So you don't want any, you only want one antivirus or internet security at any one time. Choose your brand and stick with that brand. Don't go, oh I'll have AVG and Norton because then I've got two and it'll be twice as good. No, it's actually the opposite. It'd be really bad. So, instead of um, what it is, I... He wanted to keep the original operating system, and I don't have any genuine ones left. So he wanted me to keep the because um, it only come with Windows 7 Starter, but he wanted to keep it genuine. So instead of reinstalling Windows and wiping it all off completely, um, it's taken me because this is so slow. It's literally taken me. It's Sunday morning now, and I got this on. I started it Friday morning. Uh, started it at work on Friday morning and I was doing it most of the day on Saturday yesterday but we're getting there now I've I'm currently using the AVG remover to remove the last traces of AVG I've already got rid of Norton I've got rid of McAfee and uh, we're using this to get rid of the last traces of AVG so there should be no um, antiviruses left now when you, in, when you uninstall an antivirus, uh, if you just go to start and then remove the program, you can remove it, but there's still traces of it left on your system. So to get rid of it completely, you need to go to the, um, the manufacturer, the brand, uh, website, or just Google, like for example, Norton Uninstaller, AVG Uninstaller, etc. And then you can download a program which will remove all the traces of that program from your system so that's what you need to do plus I've also been I've uninstalled a load of programs a load of crap that was on there and um, they leave files in your program files so I've been going through and manually deleting all the files that are no longer needed so that's all done I know that's done um, I've also installed a few spyware programs to get rid of any spyware, anti-spyware. Um, so, and then we've got malware bytes and everything else. So we're getting through them. Um, but basically, it's just simple computer maintenance that nobody ever does. Um, a lot of people just think, oh, I'll just bung a load of antiviruses on there, that'll be alright, no problems whatsoever, everything's good and dandy, but no. Every now and again you need to do registry things. Oh, and also, I went to defragment. I thought I'd have a look to see whether um, it's quite fragmented or not. So I had a look on there, and all the drivers were like 11%, one was 9%, and all like 11% fragmented. Um, but the system one's still pretty fragmented, and I can't seem to get rid of it, but never mind. So, pretty simple computer maintenance that nobody ever ever does and I don't know why and then they're like well me laptop or my computer's running like really slow and you're just like well do you ever maintain it? No. I mean this one had like I don't know it's only done about 
30 something updates so far since 2013 there'll be some more Windows updates to come I'm sure but um, keeping things up to date is quite important but this one hasn't been turned on since 2013 so there you go see what else we can find that's wrong with it you see on this one we've got CD recovery and system now I think um, C and D were 9% fragmented, the recovery was none system is 7% fragmented, um, that won't defragment, I think that's just um, that's just a bit dodgy but I'm not too bothered about that, he, he just wants it to be sped up so that he can use it for um, a diagnostics laptop because it's just a little mini, it's a mini notepad thing so he just wants it to be used as a diagnostics thing so the fact that that's 7% fragmented and it won't uh, defragment is not too much of a problem as long as it's a bit faster than it was and it is, we, we've sped it up by about 90% I mean it was ridiculously slow but it's still ridiculously slow but not as slow I mean this has only got like 1 gigabyte of RAM <laughs> so it's uh, all the notepads do really they probably increased in performance since 2009 which is when this was made and bought but yeah see look, it just does a really quick pass and then back to 7% <laughs> so it doesn't really matter it's not a problem I'm not bothered about it if I was I would fix that but that's not a problem whatsoever so we can get rid of all that this is still working away trying to find out find the programs but basically just look after your system and it It'll always slow down. Windows gathers a loads, loads and loads of program, um, you know, files as it runs. It just stores them all. It's supposed to delete them, but it doesn't. It gets clogged up and slows down over time. Um, my editing computer uh, laptop is slowing down. It's just clogged up. And every year I reinstall Windows fresh and start from scratch again. Uh, I don't believe... Apple has the same problem, I don't believe Macs have that problem, but it's just the way that it goes. But if you have one antivirus, choose a brand, uh, for example ABG is pretty good, free one. Choose that, put it on there, keep it up to date and leave it. Do a scan every week, there'll be no problems whatsoever. Just don't clog it up with antiviruses, it's no good. No good whatsoever. Also what a lot of people don't realise is, you see where you've got that little vent there where the air gets blown out, there's hot air coming out of there because that's where the fan's blowing out all the hot air now because there's electronics in there, electronics does actually get quite hot when it's processing now a lot of people have these on their laps as it is called a laptop or they have it, they put them on their beds and you know on materials the air can't flow out and it'll just overheat and it'll die basically it will literally cook itself inside that's no good also the hotter it gets the slower it will get you need to keep it as cool as possible having it on a hard surface means that the internal fan can do its job and be alright you can get things like what I've got here which is a laptop thing with fans underneath it which blows up air um, I have that on my laptop but yeah a lot of people they don't realise it they have them on their beds on their sofas or whatever and the air can't escape and it gets hot and they're like, oh, it's running really slow. Why is it running really slow? It's because it's too hot, my friend. You want to let it cool down. So keep that in mind as well when you're playing around with your laptops. Let's think, what else can you do to improve your performance? Also, despite popular belief with modern computers these days, they, well, it's not so bad of, um... Uh, SDD um, solid state hard drives um, but when you get the HDD the um, ordinary hard drives a little spinning disc they do slow down a lot when they're full up now this is one disc partitioned into two partitions now that one's got quite a lot on it um, I've slimmed it down as much as possible and there's pretty much nothing else to delete on it it's just all the programs that it comes with it and he wants to keep on there there's no ex extra programs on it and no extra stuff stored on this laptop now but this one was literally like 50 something gigabyte used up it had like nothing left pretty much um, 
And because this is one drive and the system runs off that one drive even though it is partitioned, it was still slowing it down quite a lot. So I deleted all the music and everything because he didn't want it. So I deleted everything off of this one and we I've kept a few a few um, files on there that are quite important, so I've kept them on there. But we've now reduced it quite a lot. We're down to 66.6 .6 gigabyte free of 66.9. So that's that. That's helped speed it up. In fact, I noticed a dramatic increase in the speed pretty much straight away after I deleted all that. So there we go. But uh, one gigabyte of RAM. Isn't pre isn't really going to be making this particularly quick, and plus the uh, process is quite slow as well. But it's better than it was. So you know, a few little tips: just don't clog it up with stuff that you don't want. You know, if you ain't using it or don't want it, just delete the stuff. You know, go through a little thing every now and again. Don't have any more than one antivirus, a trusted antivirus. And uh, yeah, just basically do a bit of maintenance every now and again on your uh, old system there. It's pretty simple for things to do, but a lot of people don't understand, a lot of people don't care. They turn it on, use it, turn it off, and then complain when it runs slow. Fair enough. It keeps people in business, doesn't it, I suppose? Laptop repairers, etc. Another thing what you can do every now and again, because if you've got programs that you've installed, sometimes, or a lot of the time, they will automatically make themselves start when you start up the system. This applies for a laptop, anything running Windows, um, this, this method applies for. So, to check what you've got started up, you can go to the uh, click start and watch the search program and files down there. Just type in ms, if it ever turns up, there you go, config. MS config down there, and then when that's searched for it, it's really slow at the minute because it's doing its work with this AVG thing in jig. But if you type in MS config, you're going to get a little thing come up, and it's like a there it is. And click on that. Doing the mouse with my left hand is quite difficult since I'm right handed. And um, you'll get a little thing come up, and you can look to see what starts up when the system starts. And you know, get rid of all the crap that you don't want starting up and it'll make it start up a lot quicker because if when it starts up it's having to load up a load of programs it's going to be really slow, especially when you've got low performance anyway I mean it's not so bad if you've got good performance, you know, not a really like, fast computer um, it will load them up, no problem but when you've got a slow one, um, where the hardware is pretty slow um, and outdated and just generally slow you want to try and minimise anything that it has to think about So. As soon as this program loads up, oh there it is, it's already there, alright okay, didn't have to, I thought we have to have a jump cut there. So if you go across and you go to start up, and you can see everything what starts up when the uh, system is started. There was a load of stuff on here, there was loads and loads and loads of stuff on here that was starting up when this, because this laptop, when, when he first, um, showed me it, it took like 15 minutes just to boot up, it was ridiculous I've got, I've deleted most of the programs now, I've removed them all, there was loads like 20 um, but now we've just got all the ones that are ticked blah blah blah, start up you want all the, all the Intel ones, Microsoft ones, the ones that you use, ones that are important and the ones like Adobe Reader and all the other ones you can uh, just untick, click apply and then OK and job done so you'll have Minimal, minimal things loading up when you start up your system. So that will help it from, stop it from slowing down on startup. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it for my advice for today. Just thought I'd uh, give a bit of advice out about that because you know nobody likes a slow computer. It's quite annoying sometimes, especially when I want to do something. <laughs> Sweet, my friends.